eight years of Democratic Alliance-led coalitions in the capital city, Tswane, came to an end yesterday. The man behind that is the leader of Action SA, Mr. Herman Mashaba. Good morning, sir. Good morning, Chris. And uh, always, as I always say, it's a pleasure really having this discussion with you. I think uh, your platform, it's really one of uh, those platforms uh, that that's helping um, to open the eyes of South Africans uh, to the reality of what's really happening. So give, given this opportunity, it's something that I personally appreciate uh, from you and your team for what you do for our country. Make sure that uh, you've got the, a balanced uh, view when, um, you know, the political parties and individuals go on a campaign uh, to really divide uh, this nation, use uh, fear um, uh, to our nation. In the past, uh, they used the violence um, <laughs> to uh, coerce people. Today, they're using fear and forgetting that today we live in a democratic uh, space that um, every citizen has got a right to protect themselves within the constitutional framework of our country. They operate as if um, I don't have a defense. I'm telling you, 1994, as a South African, for the first time, I voted and I attained my independence. And this was confirmed in 1996 with the adoption of our constitution. So playing games um, under this situation, uh, we've got to really be very careful as South Africans uh, to ensure that we don't really fracture this uh, new nation that we built in 1994. But uh, it looks like... Uh, Political parties are there to to really create a fear, um, and 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 I think uh, something for me it really gives me sleepless nights. It's one of the reasons um, I got into politics. I did not obviously from outside realize how dirty politics can be. But fortunate enough, um, I'm I'm not the kind of person that uh, that fear that that is scared of uh, taking hard decisions. It's been part and parcel of my. Uh, ecosystem. I take decisions when it's necessary. I don't really fear. What I always believe uh, is that heaven is this decision, the right decision that you can stand up to at any point in time. And that's uh, really what I've done to really protect um, Action SA and uh, find a way where we can begin the process again on, on, on really getting South Africans uh, to accept uh, one another and with all our past with all our differences, but let us not allow a situation where politicians actually uh, divide us along racial lines. And that's something that uh, really worries me. But um, I'm confident uh, what you achieved yesterday in Tswani, Action SA um, was not destroyed because the whole idea behind this uh, project um, was to destroy Action SA completely. Why? We are under impression that it would really be regarded as a partner because, uh, as you're aware, Chris, uh, uh, when I w went to, into politics, so when we formed Action SA in 2021, I said, we'll never work with the ANC. And uh, unfortunately, then other people felt um, threatened by this uh, or they thought uh, they would take advantage of, of this. And uh, it has happened, as you're aware, more than once. And uh, I had to really act, and uh, fortunately not, for I had uh, the support of, of my colleagues in, in Senate, which I, I can tell you, when we went uh, to the structures uh, on the ground, I can tell you, our structures were even against us, um, taking two to three weeks uh, with the review that says, we out, uh, we says, we have really been bruised for a long time, we've been we're abused for a long time, and we've listened to you as Senate, but this is enough, but uh, fortunate enough, uh, I convinced them to say, guys, please give us the chance. Uh, I'm personally convinced that um, we are going to get out of those, but I think we need to really make sure that we have the evidence before we have it. Well, the person you wanted as mayor of Tswane, Dr. Moya, was duly elected yesterday. You have great confidence in her. Well, uh, actually, uh, appropriate person, someone uh, who has worked uh, in uh, in the city as one of the executives from 2016 when DA took over. And, and I think uh, I want to remind your, your, your listeners and viewers that um, uh, DA did not only take charge in 2021. Actually, in 2021, 
we push them in, in, into government. Uh, I just want people not to have short uh, memories. DA has been running in China since 2016. And uh, fortunate enough, um, uh, Dr. Moyo has been part of the senior executive uh, the, at the time as a member of the DA. When Action SA was started, uh, she she was one of those who were hard fought with what was happening and uh, joined Action SA. And uh, when, obviously, we negotiated to really have a deputy mayor because uh, our uh, MMCs were always sidelines. We, this, this was creating tension. Uh, eventually, we agreed on, on a deputy mayor. Um, and as we are away 18 months ago, she served as a deputy mayor. And her track record, uh, it's impeccable. Uh, really very committed uh, person. As much as I, I can't guarantee to what other people will do in the future, but uh, I think I have full confidence. That's why when um, NC approached me, I was ready to say, if we do this transaction, guys, I'm putting forward uh, this uh, young woman to, to actually um, be the mayor. And I gave them the, 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 a profile. And fortunate enough, NC people know I have since 2016. So, and yeah, eventually, two days ago, we... We all agreed because we gave the other uh, parties, including the ANC themselves, um, because they're the ones uh, who were actually the coordinating all the our meetings. We gave them the chance to present someone better than uh, Dr. Moya. Yeah, and I'm glad uh, on uh, the Tuesday evening I met with the um, ANC national leadership, provincial leadership, and Tony leadership, and. Uh, we all agreed and, and supported by the all other parties to say, guys, uh, within our groupings, there's no better person to actually lead the city than, uh, than Dr. Moya. And yeah, she was duly elected yesterday with an overwhelming majority. Now, previously, the African National Congress in Gauteng has been accused of going rogue, but in fact, the uh, INC issued a statement affirming its support nationally for the coalition in Tswane? Well, uh, I think uh, the other, was it last Friday, as I indicated, I had a meeting with the national leadership, with the province and, uh, and, the, reg and, and the region. And uh, yeah, to, uh, on Tuesday night, uh, we met again with all with their senior the leadership at national level to, to, uh, to commit um, um, to the framework of uh, how we must operate because uh, Tswane has got to succeed. There's no doubt about that, and it's going to be under good hand. Um, I think within the next day or so, uh, she's uh, she's going to be announcing her mayoral committee. So every party has been given an opportunity to present uh, the best uh, the, the people to really occupy those positions. We want by Monday morning at the latest, um, when uh, the council opens, there's going to really be an executive team and a capable one that we, all of us, have undertaken to hold them accountable. We'll have regular political meetings where it, um, uh, we can obviously assist them and hold them accountable. But uh, to a large extent, uh, it, it is about really guiding them, to ensuring that um, that where they have blind spots, um, we can open those issues up. We've got to deal with uh, this cancer of corruption that has plagued our country in all years of government of years. I think uh, people know me and they know Action SA. When it comes to corruption, it's the last thing that we will ever accept. But fortunate enough, we're at local government level, uh, Chris. Local government, it's about the provision of services, not about the policies, you know, because I see we are being accused of working with other parties. But anyway, <laughs> these are politics. So it looks like some political parties uh, have got a God-given right to work with everybody else except themselves. So when I work with the ANC or I work with the EFF, I work with other parties, it's a problem. One thing they forget, Action SA, it's a completely, totally different political party. And uh, this fear mongering that uh, the DA is spewing, it's, uh, honestly, it's, uh, it's uh, for nation building. I was a country uh, from a racial point of view. We are still sitting, we're still really vulnerable. And um, But fortunate enough, political parties like Action SA um, are going to ensure that uh, we open up South African people's uh, mind, both black and white, uh, to understand the importance of uh, cooperation 
and uh, to coexistence. Because um, you, we can't separate ourselves. Uh, There's just not uh, really possible whether we like it or not. Uh, and, and we don't, as I said, want to separate South Africans. We want uh, South Africans to be proud of our flag and be proud of being who God created them uh, to be. And, and that's a role that we're going to play. We, we, whether the, our coalition partners don't agree with it, fortunate enough, we're working with them at local government level where we are saying, let's go and give water, clean water to people of Amanskara. Let's go and make sure that Atrishville people can't live uh, in squalor that, uh, like this and so forth. Make sure that uh, people of Waterloo for Littleton and uh, other areas, uh, their infrastructure, it's, it's working. The roads are... Uh, with narrow potholes and build new infrastructure. That's really what the uh, local government's are about. Uh, you can come out with your uh, uh, disastrous economic policies. Fortunate enough, they don't apply at local government level. At local government level, it's about how much money you've got and where to spend that money. <laughs> that, uh, you can come out with your ideological um, issues or your fear mongering. Ultimately, the local government is about service delivery. Not this got absolutely nothing to do with ideologies. Now, the Democratic Alliance has accused you of entering into a dangerous pact with the African National Congress and the Economic Freedom Fighters. But when you were mayor of Johannesburg, did the EFF ever come to you and ask you for a tender? That in the three years uh, I was the mayor of the city of Johannesburg, not a single time we, any EFF person has ever come and asked me for a tender. Because uh, I don't work with the tenders even when I was the mayor, not not once, and I was accused on many occasions. Uh, but ultimately, the truth came out, including the, the previous uh, uh, public protector actually entering the space. But fortunately enough, I've been cleared uh, by uh, by the high courts in in, in 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 the land because I took those matters on 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 review. And uh, I can tell you with uh, Dr. Moya, um, that's something that she knows me and, and my determination uh, to really fight corruption. Because if we're not going to fight corruption, this country is not going to really move forward. So what the DA is saying is just really the fear more learning. DA, unfortunately, the mistake that they're making is to think that uh, they are the only people who governs and uh, they must govern on their own. If they want to govern, we live in a democratic uh, country. Let them go out and get the support. I mean, what? Uh, can much, how much money they've used the last two months to tarnish my name, tarnish uh, other people's names, and and our, and our political parties? I don't. And you said to myself, is that how people uh, negotiate? They negotiate like uh, you. We live in a in in a one-party state uh, under uh, uh, militarism. No. We're in a democratic uh, environment where we, we have the right uh, and our constitution to protect ourselves. So, yeah, well, uh, I think they can say whatever they, they, they want to say. It, it is their right. Um, insulting us, including yesterday, actually, about uh, uh, saying that our mayor is going to just be a token mayor. Well, uh, time will tell. Uh, so I don't think... Uh, it is really necessary sometimes even uh, um, uh, respond to issues like this. Uh, one thing for sure I've learned in life is uh, to listen to people, but ultimately judge them about what they do. So to give us something to residents of the city of Tari. Give us the chance, um, just watch us very closely, hold us accountable, and we are going to do everything possible to make sure that we turn that city around. And I think this time around, um, Having uh, the ANC uh, at the provincial and national uh, behind this, this will make it much easier. Unlike when I was the mayor, you can imagine I had the ANC against me at the provincial and, and national level. So in this particular case, we are going to take advantage of this relationship uh, to build one United South Africa, provide services to all the residents. The little budget that we've got, we will want that the residents uh, to hold us accountable. In fact, I've requested while I was negotiating this, before knowing that uh, that um, Dr. Moya will be accepted, up, I was really giving her um, uh, the, the motivation and the guidance. And I said, to, please, um, within the next week or so, uh, if you, you are elected, please work with the city manager 
um, to ha take the city of Tuali into confidence about uh, the current state of the city, so that when you are judged, you are judged on facts, not on on the on the hype. So I hope uh, she's going to 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 do that uh, within the next uh, week or so, so that the people of Tuali must hold their accountable on facts, not on uh, fear. Um, uh, uh, you know, so. Yeah, I think uh, you know, in and also what I'd advise her to do is that uh, between now and uh, the end of tenure is to ensure that on a monthly basis she must have a press conference. Um, that's something I did very well when I was in Johannesburg, keeping the residents uh, abreast. And I think the media really found that really very enriching because I always have a full house every month, uh, it, letting uh, the, the residents of Johannesburg offer. What was happening in the city? How many in terms of corrupt cases of corruption? Uh, progress we're making with our budget, the inner city rejuvenation. So on a monthly basis, I'm sure you remember, I used to really have those press conferences, and all the time I have a full house, and uh, we, it really created uh, that relationship uh, between me and and the residents. And I think uh, Dr. Moya will will follow the same pattern. In fact, that this time will even be stronger in the sense that. Um, uh, we will only have the DA outside uh, criticizing and, and getting the white electorate uh, fear us. But the one thing for sure is that uh, we, we the, I do really want to really appeal to the, our fellow white Africans. Uh, please don't fear us. <laughs> we like you. We <laughs> we are all sort of committed South Africans. Um, let's work together to really build this country. We know our history Um uh, let us not allow our history to determine our future. And uh, us as Action SA, we committed to save you. Some of us left our businesses um, with a uh, uh, serious cost, as you can imagine, the financial implications of this uh, machine to me and my family. Uh, you know, I, I don't uh, earn a salary from this. I refuse to go to parliament. I said, uh, let's send someone else. I don't have to be a liability to this political party. There are lots of dynamics that I think being outside parliament would allow me to to manage. And that's really what I'm committed to do for my country. I think this is a little contribution I can make. I'm not going to allow political parties uh, to really divide us along racial lines. I think um, yeah, I, I don't want to really be punished uh, one day um, because... Um, I said back, um, I became an armchair critic. I want to really be the player in, in this game, uh, which can actually one day create a better future for future generations. Just back to Johannesburg, where you are in a working relationship with the African National Congress. You were in Soweto uh, earlier this week, where there was a great tragedy again. How were you received there? Oh, yeah, very positive. But, uh, now you can imagine, you know, for someone like me who goes into into an environment like this, you know, already, uh, you know, committing, to, to committed uh, as my family to really help uh, the families uh, with some of the ar arrangements. So to, that visit was a costly one, <laughs> but it, it, I had to really go and show my 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 support. Um, because uh, these are issues, remember, uh, about these uh, spaza shops oper operating in our communities and the type of food that they were bringing into this country illegally, you know. I've said this so many times about, uh, at the time when I was the mayor, one of the senior health inspectors actually came to me to say, uh, the mayor, please, <laughs> the national government is not helping. What these people are bringing into this country, one day will have a health hazard. And I brought this to the attention of, the attention of South Africans um, many times uh, about what was happening. But obviously, at the, and remember at the time, I was called names and xenophobic and so forth. But because I knew I was doing the right thing, uh, no one could actually distract me. So, I mean, it's tragic what has happened in Soweto. And I think it's just something that um, I have to really engage uh, the, the ANC at national level to ensure that we don't actually allow this uh, tragedies to happen. And I think, uh, Chris, you know, all six families have visited each family separately, you know, going from one family to the other. And I've, uh, what I told them, it's not only one child, one of the, yes, for them, it, they see directly with the loss of their set. 
to seven and eight year olds. I've said to you know what? Um, right now we've got international drug syndicates who are destroying millions of our youth on a daily basis, and our government is aware about this. So we are we sitting with a huge problem where the youth of this country are being robbed of their future by by this uh, illegal f- uh, foreigners and international uh, drug uh, cartels uh, and. Uh, uh, money laundering uh, syndicates. These are things that, uh, honestly, um, now that I'm closer to the ANC, I really hope that uh, they've got a the wake-up call, because if not, uh, if they thought they got punished with a recent election, if they don't really turn around, uh, they will be further punished. And uh, but I think um, they, they know my views uh, very strongly, and I found it actually quite uh, fascinating that... Um, they still regard me with uh, d- d- regard me highly, uh, uh, and 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 this these are people I grew up with. I know them. Uh, 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 for me to enter politics was uh, to register my to end up with them. That uh, you are not just really failing d- d- your organization; you're failing all of us as South Africans. So it looks like they've got a wake up call, but only time will tell. I really hope that uh, they can keep up to the promises. Uh, that we've made to each other around to making sure that we get uh, the city of Tony to work. And yeah, uh, uh, and I actually have already indicated to them that uh, we need to do something with Johannesburg and get this metros, uh, it's really very critical to get these three metros to work together because it's one big uh, uh, city. So um, I, I think uh, those uh, don't be really be surprised when I start getting... Uh, um, my hands dirty to say to the ANC uh, and their coalition partners in in Nikurulene and Johannesburg, uh, let let us actually uh, do what is right and I think get these three metros to 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 succeed because if we can get this uh, get metros to succeed, South Africa is going to succeed. And there's just no reason why the, we should fail because you know, that, um, uh, Chris, you don't need. Are we not looking for rocket scientists? To, uh, to provide services. We just really need the political will. Uh, we have the skills in this country of all our people. We demonstrated this in Johannesburg. And uh, yeah, and that's what uh, uh, Dr. Moya is going to do and her, her, her team. Um, she will also, uh, within the next 24 hours, announce a chief of staff. You will see the kind of person that we've really put, uh, we've recommended to as, as, a, as our party. So the city manager is now processing that. You know, really as a party compromised one of our senior uh, uh, staff members to go and work with, with her so that um, we, we provide uh, real services. That's all you need. We're not looking for rocket scientists. We just uh, need the political will to really make the lives of South Africans better. Thank you, sir. That was Mr. Harman Mashaba, the leader of Action SA, speaking to Biz News. And I'm Christine.